sure we have to stop. This is just adding on time. I need the toilet. And you can't hold it another 45 minutes. I thought your bladder wasn't going to be stopping us the entire journey. It's not my bladder. I need to take a shit. I don't think the bottles are going to cut it this time. Give it a go. You wouldn't. I would. You would. Don't challenge me, Dan. Always rise to a challenge. It's Daniel, and it wasn't a challenge. But we might as well stop anyway, stretch our legs. We don't seem to have much choice. Let it go. It's a time spent now that counts. Not the plans you make. When you get a chance to go, don't hesitate. Now we have 15 minutes before we have to get back in the car. We don't have much time. If we want to make it into Edinburgh, great. Did he hear the time frame? Probably, but don't expect him to care. Honestly, does he listen to anyone? Just be grateful he changed out your speedos. I'll have to burn them now. <sighs> I might as well get a drink. What are you going to do? Matthew? Hello? What? Oh, sorry, mate. Look, I've just got to call Sophie. I'll see you inside. Right? Okay. Hi, Sophie. Look, I just got some really weird texts from you. Jesus. Talk about a good night. They're medication, not recreational drugs. Which ones are the good ones? These two stop my anxiety, this one stops me from getting depressed, this helps my allergies, and this one stops me from falling asleep. What about that one? That's a Skittle. That wasn't mine. I don't think it was a Skittle either. Ooh. Where's Matt? Speaking to Sophie. Oh, I should have guessed. He needs to get shot of her. Well, that's not your choice to make. He's in love. No, he's not. He just wants someone to be with. Which is why he always lets her tell him what to do. Don't wear that. Don't drink this. And she hates me. Well, we can't hold everything against her. Besides, people are entitled to their own opinion. I hate her. So it seems. How long have you known Matt for? Uh, about seven years. You were at school together? Yeah. Till he went to uni. Got some twat friends. Didn't see much after that. What's that? It's our schedule. Is there any we have a schedule? Well, we might as well not have. Look, because of our bad start, we're definitely going to need to find a place to stay tonight. Oh, you are fucking boring. Interesting going, but I might have to because his parents are going to be there. Alright, Charlotte. Jamie, what are you doing here? We're just on our way to a stag do in Edinburgh. Me and me boys. That guy? No, not, not that guy. Uh, what are you doing here? Heading back to uni. And uh, who's your friend? Lou, this is Jamie. Jamie, Lou. Alright? Alright. So how do you two know each other? Uh, me and Charlotte used to go out. Uh, we did not go out. Uh, if we weren't going out, then you're quite the little slut, young lady. Okay, Jamie and I used to mess around a long time ago, before I got with Harry. Harry? <laughs> Harry Davis? Yes, my boyfriend. Jeez, your standards are slipping. <laughs> nice chatting to you, Jamie. Don't be like that. We're all friends, both mature adults, both aged. You more so than me. <laughs> so you still have the sense of humour of a ten-year-old? I used to turn you on. <laughs> I'm just sick, really. The thought that I used to mess around with you is kind of sick. Oh, I miss that mouth. Mm. Anyway. Alright, just joking. You got really boring since you've gone to uni. I blame my boyfriend. He was always boring. Suck the life out of you. Lou? Sorry, love, but you know it's true. You're just going to shit me because of Simon. Who's Simon? My ex. Mm, a sexy single lady, huh? Well, you're cute. In a mistake kind of way. Thanks. Look, if you head into Edinburgh, why don't you swing by our house party in Newcastle tomorrow night? <laughs> you are not invited. Uh, seems like I just was. He's my ex. I don't want him there. I've just been through a really shitty breakup, and I could use some fun. There'll be plenty of other blokes there. You're over him, right? It's never under him. Well, 
then it's sorted. Take it slow if you can't, don't bother with me. I might be one of a kind, you see, hopefully. Not really that big of a deal, just looking for the girl that I feel is right for me. Is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah. No. She dumped me. Who did? My girlfriend, Sophie. Of course. What do you mean, of course? Well, of course you meant her, not of course she dumped you. Uh, anyway, what happened? I just got some weird text from her saying that we're not compatible. Well, when did she decide this? Must have been a while ago. She's already started seeing someone else. Really? Who? I don't know, some bloke. Had it been going on for a long time? Like, behind your back? It could have been going on for weeks. I don't know, I... I, I didn't also, think to ask. was she being safe? STIs amongst young people are at their highest in decades. Don't worry. I'm sure you don't have AIDS. Get up to the front and screen. What a perfect scene. I'm in the middle of a dream. I need you like you need me. Crazy times ahead, you see. I'm on a winning spree. Right, lovely. Sorted. So we'll see you tomorrow night then. We? Oui. Yeah, uh, there's three of us. We have a map from school, right? He still hangs out with you. Sounds good. Uh, we'll see you then. Just so it's clear, I don't want you there. So much, Charlotte. Afraid I'll make your party too sexy. <laughs> That's who you just invited. You're so dumb, it's adorable. Mm. Anyway, lovely to meet you, Lou. Charlotte, great to see you again. Almost didn't recognise you with your clothes on. All right, see you tomorrow night then. Why? Seems like fun. All the lads at uni are all nerdy and weird. Yeah, and you've fucked them all already. And I may have fucked them all already, yeah. You're not still into him, are you? Not in the slightest. Harry hates him, though. Yeah, but Harry hates most of the guys, you know. True. I will ruin that. Not much left to ruin. <laughs> Pissed on his chips. Sophie broke up with him. Oh, shit, sorry, mate. Oh, that's bad. That's, you guys were perfect together. She cheated on me. She was a bitch, mate. Remember? Remember me be telling you that? I mean, I told you, like, daily. And who have you been talking to? Ah, ah, just some girl I used to finger, back when it was all the rage. Sorry for asking. Got us invited to a party tomorrow night. What? Yeah, house party. Free drink and girls. Mate, I just want to get to Edinburgh. And we will get there. Edinburgh is a week of booze. This is just one day. No harm done. Does a schedule mean nothing to you? Look, I'm in there with a northern bird. And you know northerners are dirty. I'll probably even find some fat friend for you. That isn't what I want, but it's what you need. Get back in the game. You might even get your balls tickled. I'm not very ticklish. See? He's keen. Come on. Or somebody sees me chatting to you. Hold up, hold up. Hold oh, tired. Oh, you're getting all suicidal on us. So, this party tomorrow night, it's in Newcastle. That adds another day to our journey. It's practically on the way. It's practically not. If it's north from here, then it's on the way. Most of the country is north from here. I'm glad you agree. I'm sorry, but I don't think this is very fair. I don't want to go to this party. I don't want to be stuck in a car with you. We all got to make sacrifices. We should vote on it. It's the democratic thing to do. Yeah, that sounds fun. It's the fair thing to do. Oh. Fine. All those who want to go to the party tomorrow night, raise your hands. 
two against one. Hold up. All those boring fuckers who don't want to get their knobs wet, raise your hands. Still up for discussion then, isn't it? Well, I found the perfect place for us to stay tonight. Why can't we just stay in the car? If there's any chance of us going to this party tomorrow night, I'm not sleeping in this mess of a car. Hey! Yeah. All right, fine. Just find somewhere nice. Your treat. <laughs> <laughs>